Ryan Mbwemo is one of the most talked about, explosive Premier League wingers right now. He's one of the top scorers in the Premier League and has helped Brentford achieve a high-flying start to the 24-25 season and has continued to show them that there is life after the exit of their talismanic striker Ivan Tony. And he has even surpassed Tony in some regards. Mbwemo has the most goal contributions in Brentford's history in the Premier League and no Brentford player has more assists than him. Mbwemo has consistently shown he is a dual threat for Brentford who can score and assist at the same time. So, how is he doing it? Brentford's coach Thomas Frank is in the best position to know how scary Brian Mbwemo is and has been full of praises for the striker who scored six goals in the first seven Premier League games in the 24-25 season with a couple of those being some of the team's stunning early goals scored in the first few matches which seemed almost inevitable at one point. He's a top player. I'm convinced he will play for a bigger club. I'd buy him if I was at a bigger club, Thomas Frank said, and his statement has said to have put some top Premier League clubs on high alert. While not yet confirmed, Liverpool are said to be exploring the possibility of signing Mbwemo. This would be the second attacker in the mould of Mohamed Salah that they are looking to potentially replace their Egyptian king. First, it was Omar Marmouche, who we have a video on, you can check out, and now it's Mbwemo. Salah has refused to renew his contract with Liverpool and with the targets Liverpool have in their sights, they might not even be keen on him renewing. No doubt. He's a great player, but a player like Mbwemo could fit what Liverpool are trying to do even more. Mbwemo is the perfect example of the modern winger. He's versatile, has an insane work rate, and contributes both in attack and defence, and this is why he's Brentford's most crucial attacker. Mbwemo has even played in a wing-back role when Brentford played their 22-23 pre-season friendlies. He isn't one to complain, just wants to get on the pitch and express himself. Mbwemo is a left-footed player who likes to play on the right wing. Thomas Frank is one of the most pragmatic coaches in the Premier League, whose formation is designed to match the opponents. When Brentford play a 4-3-3 formation, Mbwemo is constantly looking to cut inside to shoot on his favoured left foot. However, that's not all he does. He's also capable of delivering some nice crosses into the box to create goal-scoring chances for his teammates. If he isn't playing on the flanks, Mbwemo can also play centrally as a striker, as he has occasionally for the club, so he has that knack to sniff out goal-scoring chances. This comes easy for him, especially as he's good at finding space and is excellent on the ball. These attributes, coupled with Mbwemo being like a rock on the ball, helped Brentford be a constant threat in the final third. So, apart from scoring and assisting, Mbwemo helps Brentford continue to put pressure on the opposition up front. No wonder he has links to Liverpool. Combined with his ability to press, he's definitely the kind of guy that Liverpool's coach Arne Slot would want. His ability is also why Thomas Frank and Brentford have convinced him to stay. We convinced him to stay and he's very happy, Thomas Frank said. He is undoubtedly their main man and has been since the 23-24 season. But isn't that the season Ivan Tony was banned? Yes, it turns out they never should have been worried about losing Tony. But more on this later in the video. Brentford really outdid themselves when they were scouting this gem of a player when he was with Troyes AC in the French League. Mbwemo joined Troyes in 2013 when he was 14 years old and by the 2016-17 season when he was 17, he was already part of the club's reserve team. Mbwemo was that good. He still continued to play for the academy too and was part of the Troyes under-19 team that won the 2018 Coupe Gambardella and even scored twice in the final at the Stade de France. The team decided to give him a chance in the first team in the 2017-18 season and on the 17th of February 2018 he debuted for the club in their win against FC Metz. 
However, Mbwemo wasn't a regular starter. He wasn't even a squad player either, as he only made three further appearances during the 1718 season. Unfortunately for Troyes, they got relegated at the end of that season, but fortunately for Mbwemo, Troyes had no other choice than to make him a permanent part of the first team at the age of 19 for the 2018-19 season. Mbwemo finally got his chance and he took it well. With 40 appearances, he scored 11 goals. Troyes had a good season and smelled promotion to Ligue 1 towards the end of the season, but lost the promotion playoff semi-finals. Brentford, who had changed their transfer philosophy, concluded that Mbwemo was an excellent fit for them. So they immediately splashed a club record fee of £5.8 million. Mbwemo, keen on making an impact, put in an excellent shift that season. He was 20 years old, in a new league and a new country, but never lost focus once. Brentford achieved a playoff spot with Mbwemo scoring 16 goals in 47 appearances in the 2019-20 season. They got to the playoff finals but just couldn't do enough to win. They had to do it all over again, but the good part was they had Mbwemo, who was recognised with a nomination for the EFL Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year award at the 2020 London Football Awards. They had a star on their hands, but that star did dim during the 2020-21 to 21 season. Well, at least at first. That season was the COVID-19 affected season, and the mental stress that came with the period nearly consumed Mbwemo. He wasn't scoring. As of March, he only had four goals, but he just couldn't stop creating chances for the team. During that same March, he had already gotten 10 assists, and by the end of that season, he was again nominated for the EFL Player of the Year Award at the 2021 London Football Awards. Not bad for a stressful season. This time around, Brentford finally won the playoffs and were promoted to the Premier League, and the question was, would Mbwemo be able to replicate his form in the Championship for Brentford in the Premier League for the 21-22 season? Tapping into Mbwemo's versatility, Brentford's coach made him Ivan Tony's strike partner for a larger part of the season, and it worked. Well, to some extent. Mbwemo just couldn't score next to Ivan Tony. He did score twice in the first 11 games, and it was very nearly a very impressive 9 in 11, as he amazingly hit the woodwork seven times. So eventually, the coach made some changes. Thomas Frank put Mbwemo on the wing, which saw him end the season with four goals and seven assists in 35 Premier League appearances. Not bad for a first season in the Prem, but definitely could be better. And in the 22-23 season, Mbwemo was exactly that. He was the subject of more experiments on the pitch that season, but it didn't stop him giving 110% for the Bees. At the end of the season, Mbwemo had scored nine goals and created eight assists in 35 Premier League appearances. So how did he improve his finishing? Well, after those crazy seven times that he hit the woodwork, Mbwemo knew he definitely had to improve and continued to practice finishing relentlessly. Well, all that hard work paid off. And this is another thing that makes him a scary player. He's always working to improve season by season and show why he is a key man for the team. As it turned out, all he needed to flourish even more was Tony's absence. When Tony got banned from playing in the Premier League, there were major concerns that Brentford for sure were going to be relegated. But this wasn't the case, as with Mbwemo, the club had a not-so-good start to the 23-24 season, and Mbwemo was the only reason they weren't worse off. He scored four goals in five matches and was a crucial factor in their five wins in 15 matches, as he played both on the right wing and as a centre-forward. The club really didn't miss Tony, but ultimately managed, and then things crumbled when Mbwemo got injured due to an ankle injury he picked up against Brighton in December. That injury required surgery and kept him on the sidelines for three months. Brentford became completely lifeless in attack. Their win ratio went from 36.4% to 12.5% in his absence, and they conceded more goals. 
And Buemo wasn't just an attacker for the team. He also contributed to the defence. Tony's return, as celebrated as it was, didn't much help things. Brentford lost 10 matches in the 13 matches that Mbwemo missed. And Brentford only got 39 points in that season. And they got 31 of those points when Mbwemo played. The injury derailed his season and Brentford's. But he still picked up nine goals and six assists. Now, already Mbwemo is going to surpass his goals for that season in the 24-25 season and is in a golden boot race at the minute with Erling Haaland. Mbwemo is holding everything together and is hungry for more. The creative forward has shown his ability to create chances and Brentford will need that now more than ever. So he does bear some similarities to Mo Salah. He is a left-footed right winger who's an excellent finisher and an underrated creator and the team's main man. Liverpool fans, would you be happy with Brian as Salah's replacement? In the absence of Wissa, there is now more pressure on Brentford's talisman, Brian Mbwemo, especially since Ivan Tony left the club. Mbwemo has been crushing it for Brentford so far. As of the time of this recording, Mbwemo now has a total of 28 goals and 21 assists and 49 goal contributions in the top flight. The forward has now surpassed Tony's 47 goal contributions for Brentford in the Premier League. He will, however, have some help in the likes of Igor Thiago and new signing from Liverpool, Fabio Carvalho, who has already registered an assist against West Ham and scored against Wolves. A good option if the main men get injured. So, no Tony, no problem. It is scary times for everyone else in the Premier League, but not Brentford.